Speaking Please. of um, Avatar, I'm amazed. I'm the first person from the show to see the movie. Uh, I'm usually why would late that to the. You? I'm I'm late to the party usually, with mo mo with movies with the big movies. But I don't go to the movies anymore. I will not be I will not be seen in a movie theater. Even a, you got to go to IMAX. No, you got to go to IMAX. Get the giant glasses. To that three D glasses. Do huh? that at home. I wear my funny glasses at home. Can you do it at home? <laughs> that, I was sure wondering about this Avatar. Out. When this thing comes out on DVD, what? Are they giving you... 3D copy. Will they? Yeah. And then you can watch it on your TV? Sure. It's as easy as that? Yep. No, really? Yeah, you just need the glasses, and then they have the little offset um, mm. version of it. Well, I, uh, I, I just... I wrote, a, I wrote that Avatar was simply amazing, and then everyone beats me up. Oh, it's like, why are you beating me up? The movie's made a billion dollars. It's doing something. Yes, yeah, something's but happening people there. Write me back like, uh, uh, like it's like oh, a I hate when they do <laughs> like that. it's a hack movie or something. It's <laughs> Avatar and it's made a billion dollars in three weeks. I think something is happening. <laughs> where if I if I write simply amazing, I'm not that far off. <laughs> you fucking assholes! <laughs> oh, it's hack, predictable. No way, man. I hated it. I'd rather do this. I'd rather do that. <laughs> like, if someone will find uh, I, anything to be a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I understand that, you know, maybe it's not your cup of tea, but to say that it's just a hacky mm. movie and you're just going to push it aside is ridiculous. You know, they're showing Avatar on TV right now, like a clip. Yeah. And it looks, it doesn't look as good when it's not in 3D. No, you got to. I can tell you got to see this in three D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll probably be in the theaters for a while. I would hope. Oh yeah, oh fuck uh, yeah. Perhaps a week, uh, maybe two. Oh shit! Look at that fucking creature, man. Yeah. The creatures in this movie are pretty Fish. fucking cool, man. You would like that. Uh, yeah, a little too uh, fakey, cartoony looking for me, but I, well, I you got the three D. I can get past that. I mean, but but uh, this whole m miracle of it, you know, technology and how they look, they still look a little too. You know, that's Stephen I Lang. I Gollum looks to... Stephen Lang is the badass fucking sergeant. Yeah. I think he's a sergeant. Like badass Gollum army, looked army real, dude. though. You know? Huh? I think Gollum looked real in, like, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And these kind of CGI kind of... You got to see the 3D little... and, then, nah, and then, nah, 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 nah. then come in here and uh, talk about it. All right. Yeah, because yeah, I think, I think words, the 3D... I'm talking out my ass. No, not really. But, I mean, the 3D really does enhance... Yeah, it I, looks completely different. Is my point as as we look at the clip on regular TV? That's probably gonna be scary seeing these blue monsters. I bet you they're not as scary as the guy next to you in the theater eating popcorns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Speaking, oh, man, we don't like Chip, dude. dude. I fucking hate. Can't Chip. wait for Chip to leave to go to L.A. to be on Leno. <laughs> no, that's Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Chip. <laughs> chip goes on. Uh, for the people that have seen Avatar, uh, I'm going to tweet something that Danny gave me. Yeah, uh, it's it'll make you laugh pretty hard. Basically, <laughs> they're saying, "Can I?" Yeah, it's not going to give too much away. I don't want to be. I don't want any spurlers. No, it will give it. Okay. I, I swear, because we don't spoil as much as we used to. Um, basically, this person uh, points out that Avatar is the story of Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tweet this thing that Danny found. It's hilarious because all they did was just change the names of the characters in the Pocahontas story, and it's Avatar. Yeah, it's Avatar. So this will. I mean, if you follow me on Twitter, don't worry. I mean, if you click on the link, there might be a slight spoil in there, but you don't have to click on the link then, right? And you're just re and and you're just kind of reading, you know. Yeah, Pocahontas. It's 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 a it's very clever. Whoever came up with this. All right, Avatar, Patrice. Obviously, is the big movie. I saw it. Did uh, you see three? All right, let's slow down. No, I though. didn't see three D. What do you mean you didn't see three D? Oh, you got a uh, a no, thing. Three no, D. I just saw it. So um, <laughs> don't want to listen to you then. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> what? Because you got to see the three D. I it's, thought it's the, all in the 3D. way. The way I saw it, it was um, quite frankly. Look, 3D now isn't, first of all, it isn't like Jaws 3 where they just show a fucking finger coming at you. Yeah, right. yeah. It's a, it's a process now. It's just a, it's filmed in a, a way. Right. I, I saw it was great. The fucking movie, uh, I was, I was torn. It was, it was in a genre, okay? I, I said generally it might be one of the best movies I ever saw. 
Mm. Um, it was it was deep because basically what they did uh, was the, the concept of the movie. The story was decent. It wasn't. I thought it would be a lot of Titanic y <laughs> shit, yeah. but the love was like you wanted it to. You go, I, I'm into this love story. Um, they basically they changed um, black people, Asian people, Mexicans, uh, and the downtrodden and oppressed of of this world. Yeah, into giant. Uh, blue thing. <laughs> okay, so okay. there. So, and white people stayed the same. <laughs> white people are bad, bad guys, I'm sure. What made it a great movie, I think, in a genre? In, a, in its genre, where you put it like in a Star Wars kind of genre, probably as good as Star Wars. Mm -hmm. it, it's as good as that. It's probably one of the best, if not the best movie in that genre. Is it in the top 20 all time? <sighs> Of any genre? No. I don't I don't think it is. I would say no. But from top to bottom, never bored, even the slow the mm -hmm. slow shit, interesting. Whatever they did as a process to make the animated characters act, it was ve so Zoe Saldano's thing that she was tremendous. The the white boy who was crippled and turned into the, the avatar, which is the blue thing or whatever they wanted. Tremendous, even fucking Sigourney Weaver, who's now an old lady. She's now. great. She's fucking. She's great in this movie. A gr it, it, the 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 evil general. The, the it was it was in terms of a movie, uh, fantastic. Hmm. I, I would uh, you can't beat it, man. This fucking uh, this fucking James Cameron. He has to be talked about as as. In the argument, is one of the best. Yeah. Man. You know what? You in know terms what, of entertainment, that movie, and I'm getting sick of it when they do this in every fucking movie now. I hate when they make the fucking Marines in America these fucking wear the shit hunk of fucking douchebag people that don't give a fuck about anything and we oh, just yeah. blow up a fucking tree and kill every. Fuck you. We can't even fucking kill anybody. We have to send a rocket through a window and hit the exact guy we're supposed to hit. <laughs> we can't kill anybody. We're fucking ruined. No collateral yeah, damage Yeah, make it anymore. a fucking... Make it Arabs. Make it fucking terrorists but that will just go but, in and blow up a tree of I, life. To be fair, I understand what you're saying, but to be fair, the movie essentially is... It's, again, it was a, it was a spoon feeding of American history. Yeah, right, right. Uh, without... It's just, it is what it is, Bobby. The the big giant blue people were Indians, or or Africans, or or the Irish back in the day. They were just oppressed people. And even though we're doing it in some some new age thing, the the his the history of America is to do that. They weren't, it's they weren't oppressed. Historic. They weren't oppressed. They Those were fine. Those weren't oppressed. They were fine. They were only not oppressed because they were thousands. They were ten thousand feet tall. They were giant things. Yeah, but they weren't oppressed. They were fine where they were living. That's the way they lived. No, the people, <laughs> nigga. Did you see the movie? Did yeah. you see the bulldozers just Dude, like knocking down what? Listen, they what would be their homes? They taught them English. They really spoke a gungi boogie bo papa, but they came in. What they speak? Booby boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> and they came in and they taught them English. That's how long they had been there, how? fucking fucking up their land. Dude, how impressive was the made up language? It oh, was, what the f Sigourney Weaver's uh, talking this made up than, language better thing. Better than Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, impressive. It, you movie, thought you were listening to some fucking foreign language. Well, the, all that stuff makes sense. He actually wrote a language. That's all, what I'm saying. Yeah, all that shit's crazy. Yeah, real it, shit. He fucking that movie is is it it fucking was spectacular. But Dude, when I tweeted, I, do it again and go IMAX. I might go deal with go. the crowd. Go IMAX. Get the goofy fucking oversized 3D glasses. And you gotta go watch with, it with the glasses. Hell, yeah, fucking you have yeah. to. It's fu but it is fucking amazing. Dude, it's a fucking and the glasses aren't stupid glass. They're pretty good glasses. No, they're really good. I took my, 3D, I wear mine out. The three D was amazing. I thought I was gonna get like the dumb motion sickness. Mm. Nothing. I mean, the you're shit just is floating. You're... Like you're looking around. Like you're looking at shit over there. Like a floating fucking. If I go, if I go to the black theater, they'll have glasses for me when I go oh, in. They wow. won't be clean, but yeah, you'll hopefully, yeah. hopefully. If something <laughs> pull off some seats. <laughs> <laughs> What, what did you think not about everyone. it? You I, liked it a lot. I loved it, and I'm, I'm not an action movie guy for the most part. It was a story movie. There was, with, a, there was a lot of story. The, the action was amazing. The machines were amazing. I, I, didn't mind I liked the fucking, it a lot. I didn't even mind the love story with the big blue people. I wanted to see a little, little, little blue, blue twat. Titty. Thing, little, I you know. think that's going to be on the uh, DVD or whatever, the extras, them having sex. On, I, yeah. did, I walked out at that point. 
when they were about to fuck. <laughs> I didn't see, not that I wanted to. I had to piss. But did they fuck with the tails? Did, are they a ponytails? Did they they, she rolled them. Did they have to join she the ponytail? She fell in love with that motherfucker. There, there was some docking going on. Did they dock with, their with ponytails? Those fucking tails. Do docking. Is that what happened? That's how they fucked? Yeah, there was a lot of docking yeah. going on. And he, yeah. and he woke yeah. up, they opened up that thing. Come all in it, all in the what? machine that he was locked in. Yes. Yeah, they gave him a bukkake while oh. he was still sleeping. And right <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the he didn't feel it because his legs is dead. So he just, <laughs> he just, they made him he roll around with cupped up legs. He just legs. kept coming and over and over with blood in it. The evil general said, "You came on yourself for this blue cunt soldier." And he's like, "Hey, man, I love him." <laughs> Have you seen Avatar yet on uh, YouTube? What's no. that? Almost no. good. Oh, Almost no. good. Avatar. If if uh, Danny can pop that up. Speaking of things you've seen on YouTube, uh, this is probably old as hell. Uh, Reservoir Dogs and the Muppets. Oh, really? <laughs> did you see Reservoir uh -huh. Dogs I and did. the Muppets? Yeah, I did. Yeah, One anyway. of the funniest Go things on. I've ever yeah. seen. Uh, man. Where they're doing the uh, the whole opening uh, waitress yes. scene. Yes, very, very funny. It's fuck it. balls. It's fucking hilarious. Is it I'm a visual? Check that out. Yeah. It's More a visual, visual than yeah. anything? All right, I'll oh, check it out later. You then. gotta watch it. Uh, Avatar, almost good. I think it falls just short. And it looks like a lot of people want to see it today. Oh, here we go. No, it's got to be Give me five. I do it. Oh, I'm sleepy. It's hard. Sugar rush. <laughs> This is fun. In, uh... I grab my pants. I don't understand. <laughs> it's crazy here. There's no stopping him. I gotta go to the bathroom. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> Send us a message. They can take whatever they want. But we will send them a message. I want ice cream! Avatar! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, uh, the good. only reason it isn't better is because they don't have enough scenes with the blue people talking to each other because they're, they're just using mm. the trailer. Dude, yeah. some of these cocksuckers are just good. That's fun. That's just fun. <laughs> the beginning, he could have stopped. Where that one was going. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I enjoyed that. God damn it. God damn you two. <laughs> But um, other movies, so yeah, the avatars. I, uh, you know, and it's going to be the first movie that I'm going to go see twice. I haven't seen a movie twice Ooh. in theater. You're going to see it twice? Absolutely. I might have to go see it. I might have you gotta to go three D. I'm gonna go three D. I might go. How about today. me and you, Patrice? No, I might go. Uh, to the <laughs> Why not? Not today, though. I just saw it. <laughs> this Jesus, nigga this set me, no, you up. Don't set me up to reject me, bitch. Uh, Jesus like, Christ. Not today, though, Patrice. Uh, fucking uh, asshole. Don't bug me, What's nigga. What's wrong with you? Here's what he did. He, he fucking gave me no. a pound and then told me, you're lonely. After the pound. Uh, yeah. After the let, you, you went, no. He went, why? And you went, let's go. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not going today. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't say today. I didn't say today either. Oh, yes, right, you did. You said today. Oh, yeah. You by myself today. today. Yeah, yeah, you said by yourself today. Then he added him. You got to go 3D. And then he took I think himself I'm gonna, I think I'm You got to go 3D. Avatar is already the uh, number two movie of all time, Money Made. Wow. Would you like to guess which uh, is the number one movie of all time, Money Made? Titanic. That's right, Anthony. That was an easy one. Da, 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 da. Ford Apache to Bronx. Ah, I remember that one. Avatar made another $48.5 million. Another 48.5. Third week out, right? Why would they count the five? 48 million and five? 48 and a half mil. Oh, that's, a, that's a big uh, five right there. That's I haven't half. heard from a lot of people that really like it. Now, oh, come on. Like, I've heard For people real? go, it looks good, it's cool, you know, I like the 3D, but the story, blah, blah. I mean, it's not like, oh my God, that was an amazing fucking movie. Well, the story doesn't blow you away, but it's not a bad story. It's a basic it's story. It, I, Visually, no it's amazing. No one's telling me that it's an amazing movie, and it's fucking gigantic. you got to go see it, Ant. 
Like that. And then, then you it'll answer all your questions for yeah, you. Yeah, I don't like questions. Obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic movie because of the, you know, the technology, and it's used properly. I want to go see it, actually. In the I think... And then the storyline is a basic storyline. Without the 3D, the movie would not do as well. Yeah. Absolutely, you're you right. You know what annoys me? And the me. other... Hold on, really fast, Dan. And the, and the reason why these numbers are so fucking high is because uh, the theaters and all are paying... Wait, how is this? No, I guess, I guess you... The moviegoer is paying for the 3D glasses, basically. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they've upped the ticket price to, to oh. cover the cost of the glasses. Well, then you should be able to take them home. So they didn't factor that into this as much as they probably should have. They're making mm -hmm. a lot of extra money because it's a 3D movie. I don't know. You know what I cost me? $39 for two tickets mm. <laughs> to see Avatar. $39. I think they look too each. cartoony. The fucking blue people thingies look too cartoony. It's like, oh, this great no, technology. No, I understand eh, the technology, eh, but they, they look they don't look no, like real no, creatures. No, 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 no. They look cartoony because of the version you're seeing because they're just showing that on TV. You gotta see that in three D. No It looks complete No, it's not No, the 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 blue people, the Smurfs in the woods, whatever you want to call them, yeah. they look totally Different when you see them on just regular TV than you do under the 3D technology. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, they look very kind of hack and fake when you just see them on regular TV. Absolutely. Yeah, they look too cartoony. Yeah. But then you throw the 3D shit in there, and then it kind of all makes sense and comes together. Yeah. Just go see it. No, I don't go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> hate going to the movies. Yuck. <laughs> Avatar. You seen it? Yeah. I saw it. You like? Oh, These guys no. haven't seen it yet. I thought it was all right. How was the effects? Well, the effects were good. I, I you The know. 3D thing makes the movie, yeah, obviously. The 3D was it, cool. If it wasn't for the 3D, it would be an average movie. Yeah. I, I just, I don't see why. I, I don't know. It was entertaining enough. I have no desire to ever see it again. It wasn't like I walked out of there thinking, you yeah. know, that was fucking amazing. I Revolutionary, I amazing. Yeah, I just, um, fun the story was stupid. And basic. You know, the dialogue it's been was... told a few times. Yeah, the dialogue was idiotic and mm. well when he's trying to rally like his his people he didn't get that nice braveheart speech yeah no sure. there was no brave we heart must speech. save our village there or was, something stupid yeah, was, did he say this is our independence day <laughs> yeah. nothing like that no Ugh. that was a good speech oh shut it <laughs> <laughs> bill pullman bill pullman as the young president <laughs> hey yeah uh, doing you get a clinic would rip off the entire movie i belong up there exactly do you Randy uh, Quaid also annoyed me in that movie. Oh, that was horrible. He's all drunk. He flies a biplane, and now he knows how to fly in uh, yeah. the F-18. It could happen. That was yeah. shit. Sure. You could fly a plane, like and that. you've never flown one. I used no, Microsoft he, Flight Simulator. Yeah, so you could fly. Of course I know how they to could, You could make out with Travolta on the steps of a plane <laughs> as he was boarding it. <laughs> you could let him give you a good smooch on your ch fucking lips. <laughs> they had a dream. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, I don't... I, I just... I, I don't... I don't see why it's everyone's raving about it. The Billions way of I dollars. Just, I, well, because of the technology. We've never seen 3D done yeah, that well. But, I mean, usually uh, when they use sure. the 3D technology, it's, it kind of takes you out of the movie. you ever see the Muppet uh, movie in uh, Disney? Come on, that's great. Was 3D. that in theaters? No. It's just at Disney. That's right. Just like Captain EO. <laughs> Back in the old days. Remember Captain EO, Michael Jackson's 3D movie? I never saw it. Yeah, it was over at the Epcot. <laughs> well, oh, oh, Michael Jackson's... Probably was it, was it about, like, a glove or something? <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip Chipperson is the worst character on this show. <laughs> the worst character ever. I hate to tell you, but, but Chip is everything. Where's Danny? He fucking missed Chip. He's going to kill himself. He lives for Chip. I know. Make sure you tell Greg that uh, Jimmy wants to do Chip on Red Eye. Oh, Make I'll, sure that yeah, happens. Okay. Please. I, I, you don't know. Please. If do you it. only knew. Do who, it on Red Eye, please. Dude, if you knew how happy it would make me to do Chip on television. <laughs> do it. That's The problem is. Do it. I'll ask you about it in postgame tonight. The problem is it doesn't Any translate please, because please it's not it. like an ongoing soap opera. But it yeah. translates here. Yeah, it's different. Radio's <laughs> different. It's like you, you know, you, you, you pipe it up one line here, one line there. You can't do that on TV. It's like, cause, mm -hmm. you know, people's like, what is that? Who's this guy? Is he funny? Him? Smart? Yeah. I understand. Yeah, I'll be afraid. Well, I was asking Andy about Avatar because there's a story today. Uh, people are getting depressed from Avatar. Now, why? We're going to find Cause out. Because it's blue. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was me. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even say that like Chip. 
<laughs> um, how widespread is this phenomenon where people are feeling depressed? And I'm, I'm guess the way, to, in layman's terms, they see this movie, and especially if they see it in 3D, they're really feeling it. And then their world is not this, so that's what's leading to the depression in a nutshell? It is, indeed. And I think the depression is widespread enough that it is an actual phenomenon. There were over a thousand posts on how to deal with post-Avatar depression on one of the Avatar fan forums. And that's just one of many fan forums where people have gotten together to talk about how they felt very depressed. They felt like the world was gray and flat after waking up after seeing Avatar. Is, is the 3D it effect is. that make it that much greater, make this world that much more enticing and appealing? Absolutely. I think you put on these glasses and James Cameron's CGI effects are so good that you're actually transported onto the planet Pandora. So you take off the glasses and there's a disconnect. And that's what's making people more so depressed. don't take the glasses off. Yeah, just, on. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> it's great. Just walk around the city with the glasses still you on. You know what? When you walk feel around like you're still in Pandora. outside a theater, everything's in 3D. Uh, I don't think you need to freak <laughs> what out. What do you mean, with the glasses? Uh, without them, really? with them, as you're walking around the streets, everything's in 3D. Huh. Look, this whole room, I actually feel like I'm in it. Why doesn't it look like 3D, though? Why do you need glasses for it to look know, like 3D? It look like 3D. <laughs> this just looks like because then you put the glasses on and go, wow, that 3D is cool. But we're but living just, 3D, and I don't feel you know, like it's anything special. Yeah, I'm not looking, going, wow, this is cool. I'm like immersed in I'm this not, room. I'm not putting my hand in front of my face trying to touch stuff. Trying to touch things. <laughs> wow, it's like it's right here. I had the when I saw Avatar, I had the weirdest experience. The whole movie, and I thought it was an odd directorial choice for Cameron. There was a, a large 3D penis right in front of my face. <laughs> that but then it turned out no one else in the theater saw it, so I don't really know what it means. <laughs> Some guy kneeling yeah, in the chair in front really of you. <laughs> Punch the guy with his dick out. Uh, was that, was that what it was? Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> were you ever were you ever depressed after you saw a movie? Maybe for a moment or two, but by the time yes, you're in the jungle fever. <laughs> <laughs> but by the time you're in the lobby, you're done with it. You're like, all right, whatever. I just, we did this. We actually did this story on Red Eye uh, a couple weeks ago, or last week, or we're something. We're that far behind. No, it seems to be hitting, like CNN had a thing on it today, whatever, yeah. but uh, but we did it a while back, and I was looking at the, these forums where these people post, and it's just the saddest thing you've ever seen. People talking about how they need, like, an, alcohol, an AA for Avatar, and then there are these same people in every one of their posts, they, they say these really depressed, stupid things, but then they put LOL at the end. Well, LOL mm. uh, fix anything. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure yeah. Just, unless you're really old, it means lying on the linoleum. <laughs> 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 one, one shoe. One shoe still on the rug. Yeah. Could you say, yeah. a, Could you say a skew? Uh, a right. skew. That's my favorite word when it comes a little to a shoe. shoe being a, skew. a skew. A lot of people uh, have talked about this, though, with video gaming, too. Uh, that, uh, Role-playing games like EverQuest and World of Warcraft, they they get so into it, and they are a, a mighty character, and they have powers and everything, and then they uh, unplug, and they're just you know, fat kids in their basement, <laughs> and listen to mom. And do you know that happened to me when I was playing Monopoly? I got to be the car, and then I used would walk around in a box shape and yell vroom. I want people to hand me two hundred dollars occasionally. All right, look, you, you have to go back to Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm over tired. Uh, I, I asked Nick during the break. I go, "Hey, have you seen Avatar?" And he goes, "Are you fucking kidding me? All angry? You wouldn't see that shit, right?" Fucking horseshit. That's for nerdy cocksuckers. But there's a lot and of nerdy put, cocksuckers seeing this. Though. Yeah, and I heard that they they lay like a liberal fucking. It's kind of like a subtext of the Iraq War, where America's the best. Fuck you, James you Cameron, you fucking faggot. You know what? You, you speak the truth. There <laughs> tell, is... tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, you nerdy... <laughs> There's a little of that in there, Nick. You're kind of right. God didn't get stink finger until he's 42. I hate him social message like that. It's, it's always a, yeah, the same message. hide behind it with cartoons, you puss. Always there, the same message. There is a social message in there. Yeah. Humans Here's are bad. Message. Americans in particular, even though I don't think they yeah. come out and say it's uh, the Americans that are pretty much uh, destroying the, the people of... Uh, 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 yeah. uh, Pandora. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> and then Nick goes, I haven't even seen fucking Star Wars. 
Ugh. Now you're a communist. That's Fuck a good that. movie. No, it isn't. Why it's isn't Star Wars a good? Fu- why I'm is not going to watch a, a bowling trophy talk to a refrigerator on wheels. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't fucking. This, the world is interesting enough. I hate fucking fiction. I don't read fiction book. The world's interesting enough. You don't watch. <laughs> do you watch That's action fucking... movies? <laughs> you watch action movies, Nick? No, they bore the shit. Do you out like of the me. Terminator or Terminator Two? Couple of action. I'm not a big action Terminator, movie guy. Terminator Two, Ter- uh, and uh, you know. What's your favorite type of movie? You know, Gone with the Wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedies. <laughs> Yeah, no, com- no, comedies suck a dick yeah, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, they do for the most part. No, I what like- was the last uh, good comedy you saw? Last good comedy I saw was uh, Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock. No, I don't. You don't know either. <laughs> I haven't just- seen it. These are just I'm questions. Not- I know. You don't go to the theater. I saw much. Bruno. You know. Oh, how, how was, was Bruno? They mail uh, again. Funny once again, though. He gets all you know, gets all ballsy till it's time to make a final black people, and then he pulls then he bails. the liberal fucking. Did he shit, not but- do it? Well, he did in kind of a way. He were, you know, he went on a talk show and pretended he had adopted a black guy. Oh, right, right, son. right. But that but was all to, set up, obviously. Yeah, he doesn't that was one of the set up scenes. <laughs> but, uh, that was, you know, he's always good for, <laughs> for a laugh. But, look, no, comment. Uh, you know, you see I'd Hangover? A good dra- you know what's the best movie I've seen? Hmm. Because you know how SAG mails these things to you? Do you get those on a mail, Jimmy? Yes. Or whatever, right? Is Gil, yeah, I don't know where they come from. Here. But Crazy Heart. Oh, I want to see love, that. First of all, I love Jeff Bridges and everything he does. And, yes. and when I just saw the when I just saw the cover of the DVD, I'm like, this is going to be. You knew it was going to be good. And it was as good as I thought it was going to be. The, yeah, the fucking preview looks good. He's is I it mean, in theaters yet? I think it did. I think come it just out. popped I think in. It just maybe popped. last Friday. I'm going to go check that one out. I but love it, Jeff it looks Bridges. Good. Too. He, what does he play? Like a down and out, like country, it, yeah, western singer, it's sort of based, in a small town. Yeah, the the kid that it was the kid that wrote it was his first movie. It's it was based on a novel. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like based on Merle Haggard, Chris Christopherson, and I don't know, yeah, Hank Williams. I don't know. Three. He kind of blended the three. Tremendous. It's sort of especially being a comic, you can relate. Like the pulling into a town in Texas at noontime and. Mm. You know, going over to the club in the afternoon and just getting real depressed. Yeah, and he's like, uh, "It's uh, tremendous, oh, very cool. tremendous." I, I want, I, I watched. I wanted to watch it again. You see, up in the air. I saw up in the air. What do you I, think? I saw it too. Again, here's what do you thing. think? Because I'll tell you. Because the people that I know the agenda of the people that fucking run Hollywood and make these fucking movies. The first hour of Up in the Air, Cloney's character is a guy, and he and he's he's. You know, telling girls how it is, and he's winning all a the arguments. Man. A man's man, and just, I said to my wife, his character is going to get fucked in the end. And you just just, just from political correctness, yes, just from I know the agenda of the people that write this shit. The guy is not going to have the last say. And sure enough, mm-hmm. I mean, I can see it coming. You know, it's like they I, tip their hand. They're so predictable. I thought it was a good movie, but it's it, it's it it's not a been. great movie, no, it's right? Not. Are All they right, saying good. it's a great move? Yeah, they What's are. What's it called? Oscar shit. Up in the air. Up in the air. I right. might have that. They might have sent me that. It's 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 Jimmy, fine you, for your consideration. Jimmy, with all the yeah. travel, with <laughs> exactly. all the traveling you you do, you probably would be I don't know, I it a little bit, relate a little bit. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. What else did I see? Here? Going, for, going for status with the airlines and uh, it's not, it's that whole world. Doesn't like living in in his uh, in his house. He likes just being on the road. He he lives his life on the road, man. But of course, you know a woman has to straighten him out. And everybody. that wasn't her ass in the movie. Of course not. Of course, it was a stunt ass. Um, Avatar, uh, ready to sink the Titanic. By, by the way, two million dollars shy of becoming the highest grossing film ever, ever, ever. How great would it be if it WTF. falls? WTF. How great would it be if it just falls short? Like, yeah, like, like $8. Dollars. Yeah, like no one goes now. They just, they're done. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Pretty fucking fast, too. Titanic took a little longer than this. Certainly did. A little, I'm exaggerating. It took a, a lot longer. What is it? I hear the story sucks a dick. Dude, you the gotta, 3D is like but amazing, you, but it's it's like you gotta a go niche see thing. It. I understand. I got to see it because it's, it's. I'm waiting for a special screening. I want the uh, 3D I, version, man. I, I, but like, you got to go see is it. Is it? Is it go that see it today. like fucking amazing that the 3D makes it past Titanic in fucking ticket without, sales without the 3D with a shitty story uh, and uh, shitty I'll answer? I saw the movie without yeah. the 3D. The the movie doesn't do as well as it's doing. Well, then it's a obviously. gimmick. It's a gimmick movie. Well, I don't know if it's a gimmick movie though because. They really knew how to use the 3D. Well, then for anything. Once. Then take any movie 
Make it 3D, and it should gross that much? Well, th tell the filmmakers, these lazy well, fucks. Yeah, yeah, well, Make uh, Crazy Heart 3D. Make fucking Up in the Air in 3D. <laughs> George Lucas wants to take all the Star I, Wars movies I saw now. This. And make him fucking 3D and re-release him. Why did he just this guy stop cannot it? stop <laughs> jacking <laughs> off over his Star Wars Enough movie. Your Star I Wars. fucking can't no. stand him. We bought every version, but it's time to fucking pack it in. Enough. He wants to put all black actors. We got it. <laughs> right. yeah. Let's go to Bob in Georgia. Bobby! Hey, Ant. What's different about Avatar is that it's not 3D in the traditional sense of stuff comes out at you. It's that it adds depth to behind the movie. So it's, it's like you're... It's not where... They have somebody drops a pair of keys and then all of a sudden it's rushing. Oh, I did not know that. I thought that they, they were like a pencil come at you. Oh, the ball was shooting to him. You hear you. Oh, sorry. Let me go eat more lead paint. Dang, no! What are you talking about? Why are you getting mad? Because I've been to 3D fucking movies. You haven't enjoyed this, uh, this uh, make-believe world of Pandora yet. Pandora. <laughs> Enough with Pandora, two million. That, that fucking Hurt Locker was great. That deserves accolades. Accolades! Someone someone needs credit. I, I think it might have been Jimmy Fallon said that James Cameron looks like the Quaker Oats guy without the hat. <laughs> I kind of taking on that look. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fucking good line about James That's Cameron. That's a little mean. There's not one story that they tease on the news that I don't already know what happened through right. the internet. Mm -hmm. It's just, or, or a Twitter, or whatever. Right. There's no one that has to look at the news and have a tease and go, oh, what, what happened? I better stick around for that. Of course. You know everything they're going to be talking about. An extreme about that small percent of, of the viewers are sticking around because they don't know. Fucking fossilized people that right. have no clue what right. the uh, internet is I'm about. I'm sure there's a few, but not worth like uh, teasing it no, for the they, masses. They really have to they're come in up trouble. with a new strategy. Yeah, they got to figure it out because at this point, everyone knows the stories before you tell them on the news. 3D news. 3D news How would 3D work. 3D news? With big booby. Oh, so for Avatar. <laughs> Here goes Ann again, but he hasn't seen the movie. By the way, it beat Titanic, so it's uh, now the number one it, grossing movie ever, ever. It's my new favorite bit that you're so mad at Avatar and you haven't even fucking seen I the thing. I don't need to say it. <laughs> you have a lot to say about Dude. a movie you haven't seen. 3D. If it wasn't 3D, it would, wouldn't have fucking grossed as much. That is so a it's fact. a gimmick movie. That is true. Gimmick. Well. That's like saying, okay, I am going to play... I am going to write a shitty-ass fucking movie, okay? Mm -hmm. Shitty-ass movie, put it in the theaters, and everyone that comes in gets a blowjob from a, a, a prostitute or something. Fuck. You just line up the chicks in front of the seats, and you get blowjob. Number one grossing film in the country not really. in days. You're not thinking. Why? You still got to get the female audience to get those number one uh, numbers. The guys will come back more times. <laughs> All right, you I'm going to get out. repeat viewings of a shitty ass movie. <laughs> I could play that stupid Paul O movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bad <laughs> shit. Hey, after Avatar, anything's possible. Man. Oh, that's true. Anything is possible. 3D, 3D. It's got to be great. <laughs> but you have to have an imaginary planet that sounds cool, like Pandora. 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 We must Pandora. save the trees. Please. Please see Avatar so we could really... I will. Because I... Yeah. I uh, I like the movie, but now I'm ready to completely bash it. Because <laughs> that's what I need to do in my world. Even stuff I really like, I gotta completely just destroy and bash. I'm ready for that. Yes. So you gotta see Avatar so we can have a field day. <laughs> <laughs> wait till you see Avatar them. Bash. Wait till you see them docking. I'm probably gonna go. Th there's a lot of docking in Avatar. I'll probably come in and be like, "It was the most amazing <laughs> movie I've ever seen." No. Oh my god, I was Paint, crying. Painted blue, a yeah. little <laughs> Avatar creature. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I want to be one. Uh, well, this guy wants to agree with Anthony on his Avatar review, even though Anthony oh. hasn't seen Avatar. Of course, Cal in uh, New Jersey. And you are so right on this. Avatar is just a piece of shit. The visuals are amazing, but the story is just absolute shit. So it's gimmick movie. The oh, yeah, 3D what? gimmick, the total gimmick got the, the, oh, the movie, the, the press it got, and the, the reason that it's now number one over Titanic is because of the gimmicky 3D. Why do you think the story was shit? The, because everything in the story was done in, in James Cameron's other movies. I mean, like, uh, and plus, I mean, the main plot is just dances with wolves. 
Well, you got a little Dances with Wolves, Pocahontas, Pocahontas type thing happening, but the storyline isn't shit. It's not the, well, I mean, it's not it, the it, greatest it, it, story you're going to see on film. Great, but but was Titanic? Sir, was Titanic a great story? Basically, the story was Titanic the ship the goes dick. under the water. How do they fall in love so quickly? They're only on people a ship for a couple days. Are, people are and have been for a while obsessed with the Titanic. And the, the whole thing, it's just gotten this like almost glamorous thing to it. They romanticized the it. They right? romanticized it, exactly. They sure did. And it's it's like and then you throw in that fucking love story to get the broads in there, and then you throw in the amazing at the time CGI of the ship actually sinking. You watch a movie like uh, A Night to Remember, which was a Titanic movie that was made years ago. Black and white. Uh you you watch something like that and then you watch Titanic and you're like Holy fuck! That's what that ship looked like sinking. That's exactly what that looked like sinking from a life uh, uh, boat. I didn't give a shit. Jack, cold on Jack. But the broads are all in for that. That's why that movie won. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, got number one. They got everybody. But uh, you, you make a great point. Now we know how the Titanic truly sank. Yeah. That was so fucking. That was like watching that was like holy fuck. Imagine that's how that, in, that went down. Imagine that in three D. Three D. Three D. Why doesn't he do a George Lucas and start redoing his fucking movies in three D? Yes. George Lucas wants to do that with the Star Wars thing. How's he going to redo? Idiot. I mean, just take oh, the film. He'll, make, he'll probably take the film, 3D it somehow, and then put some scenes in that are conducive to 3D. Like, there'll be all fucking at at looking at you. What are you talking about? Pew, pew, pew. Like no, a, Star a, Wars TV. in general, you don't have to <laughs> You don't have to jazz it up. If it was just in 3D, it'd be cool as shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how much mileage because is he Avatar... going to get out of those movies? How much has he already? It's enough already with Star Wars. Because Avatar didn't just throw 3D shit at you just because they can. That's why I think this was a really good 3D movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, they didn't like. Well, that's just all it. of a sudden have stuff floating in front of your face, so you look like a dummy reaching out, thinking you could touch it. I get it. So it's not that type, but it's still a gimmicky thing. It is. It is gimmicky. No. Hey, can I got to ask you a question, George Lucas? Did he ever do anything else besides uh, Star Wars movies? Graf American Indiana Graffiti. Jones, American Graffiti. Oh, oh, okay, duh, okay. But uh, but Indiana all Jones right. was kind of done with Spielberg, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't think of that as a Lucas movie. What? I forgot about Indiana American Jones? Graffiti, yeah. though. I forgot about good that Good movie, overrated, good. I forgot about Just it. Just big names in it. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I haven't seen that in years, and it was kind of, if you look at it now, it doesn't date well. Not the fact that it's a fucking period piece, but like they kind of do that split-screen Woodstocky thing, and that makes it look old. Right. But was it directed well? Like, were the scenes shot Honestly, well? Because I remember it kind of looking very cool and late 50s-ish with the lights and everything. I, I, yeah, I think he might have done a good job on that. Maybe. Um, I, I remember because I was watching it recently in a diner in L.A. that they, Mel's Diner, actually, is where it was shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, and I was, they have it running there constantly. Oh, they do? Yeah. It's in the, It's like when you're eating, it's, it's like a, on, on a couple of screens. And, uh, you know, idea. Dreyfus and Ron Howard and Cindy Williams. Um, you know, it was a big cast, but... Yeah. Uh, I, I think kind of and one of the Phillips them. broads. Was Mackenzie Phillips? McKenzie, oh, maybe, was yeah. a little, little, a little McKenzie, McKenzie right? was in there. Yeah. yeah, but she was a big girl already. Oh, yeah. The Portum nice Baldies, the Duckies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Kent, the movie guy. Kent. Oh, boy. You hey guys, I, I, I just want to say, I think there's a great reason why Avatar has a really simple storyline. And I, it, it's easy to take in for, for mass audiences. You know, a lot, a lot of people don't necessarily like science fiction. But you put a, a simple storyline out there, and then you just wow them with great visuals. And when you go back and do a second film, you can, you know, really go deeper with the story. You know, kind of like how Star Wars is a pretty simple movie, and then Empire Strikes Back, they take everything up to another level. Yeah. Is that true, Ant? Yeah. You're a Star Wars fan. I could see that, sure. I mean, Ken's uh, making a pretty good point. The storyline is very basic, so you don't really have to sit there and figure shit out. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to be thinking the whole time while you're also going, oh, my God, this scene's more gorgeous than the last scene, and this scene looks better than that oh, one. Oh, so you can have something that looks spectacular and has a good story because the human mind can't handle it? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I, I just think the general public aren't, Fuck, aren't he's, he's right, though. The so masses? Really? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that is the truth. Look at the, the best science fiction film of the past year was Moon. And it didn't really do well because people Dude. were like, well, what's it about? Dude, oh, I didn't. I the thought movie. they fucking petered out on that. It, it, it looked like it was going to be really good. Moon? Yeah. I want to see Moon. Moon was uh, like, I liked it. But if I really liked well, it, I would have gone online and like looked, looked, looked at what other people were saying about it and shit. It just didn't really grab me. And believe me, I was looking for that motherfucking movie for 
a long time, <laughs> and I finally, you know, found it playing in a theater, mind you. Uh, but it was okay, but not like great. I wouldn't consider well, that a great I, movie. I was saying like Thinking Man's type of science fiction. You have that, yeah, and then you have Avatar, which is completely on the other end of science fiction. Now, what about you know? Aliens? What about Aliens? James Cameron did that. Yeah, he's done. You know, he's done a ton of great movies. Now that was a great that movie. Day. A lot of action. Absolutely great movie. Yeah. And, and, uh, and any of that know. in Avatar? Can you see any any old, uh, he dragged that out of Aliens? Uh, that's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. There, there's, I a seen lot, aliens there's a lot, lot of influence from Aliens in Avatar. A ton of influence. Yeah? yeah. Everything from in the, general. Everything from the big robots, like the loader. Right, uh, right, right. To, you know, the, just the marine mentality, too. Remember the pilot at the beginning of Aliens? What, the uh, chick? The female pilot. Yeah, the female pilot. We're in the pipe, the five by five. Yeah, love yeah, that chick. She, she's basically Michelle Rodriguez is a more blown out version of her character. Oh, really? You know, including the, the glasses and everything. She's just, there's a, there's a lot of characters who could be pulled right out of aliens. Rodriguez in Avatar. Fucking one sexy broad. Yeah. But more Holy importantly, shit. is Bill Paxton in Avatar? Um, no. Is no, this not. the first movie <laughs> that James Cameron made without Bill Paxton in it? Poor Bill Paxton. So How did he get left out? Wait till deleted scenes, man. There's a ton of deleted scenes. He might end up in it. I bet he is. Well, it's some pretty shit now. <laughs> All right, Ken. Thank you, sir. Star Wars wasn't Thank a great guys. story. It was a fun movie, but, you know, there's a hairy thing flying a spaceship. Yeah. You know, it's kind of silly. But for the time. For the time, it was, It was know. pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, uh, we were talking about Avatar really fast. You know that we were discussing when this thing comes out on um, comes out in DVD. Yes, it comes out on DVD. I heard this. It's not gonna be in 3D. That's fucked up. No, it's not. Because the footage uh, of this movie they show on TV when they're talking about Avatar, it yeah. doesn't look at anywhere near as good as when you see it in the theater with the 3D glasses. I always thought the uh, characters in the trailers, like I said, I have not seen the motion picture, look a little too cartoony. They, and I guess in 3D, they don't have that cartoony look because it must bring out uh, like a dimension they, in their face when the on regular screen, it, they look very flat and animated. I think this is a really bad move. Maybe economically they can figure it out or something. I don't know. But I think it's I think logistics. It's a, logis logistics. I think it's a really bad mood, uh, 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 move on, on their part. Yeah. You can't you can't have 3D DVDs? No. Wouldn't it come with just the fucking glasses and you're ready to go? You would think, but I don't think the effect is the same, so people might be more disappointed that the 3D sucks on their regular TV at home than uh the Now the odd thing it seems to me is 3D in the movie theater. The screen is so big that y you have your focal point and your peripheral vision and it's all in 3D because the screen's very big. It seems like a TV screen with that smaller dimension, you're not going to get that feeling of 3D I, I, that you would get sitting in the theater, especially an IMAX. Anthony, I went to IMAX uh, for this, this Avatar. I had a shitty seat because I fucked up the movie time, right? There was shit on your seat? And it was actual you know, that shit. theater, they really ought to... <laughs> <laughs> there was actual shit. And I was pissed off. I'm like, all right, let's at least try this. And if it sucks, we'll just walk out and we'll, we'll come back, even though it's like fucking $20 a ticket, whatever the fuck it was. That's why it's making so much money, by the way. You know, shit. You know, average mm. movie doesn't cost you 20 bucks. Not yet, anyway. Nope. But for some reason, that huge IMAX screen is, is, is squashed down to something that's right in front of you, no matter where you sit. Yeah. Which was completely bizarre to me. Mm. Interesting. You didn't have to go. You, you're not looking around. You're not looking around like hell. Hey, fucking like, no! At that huge screen, it seems to just be right in front of you. It was. Hmm. I don't know how the fuck they do that. I don't know if you know if 3D uh, works at home. I I don't see why they wouldn't do it. It, it must not, and mm -hmm. that's why they're not doing it. Because it's it, it, if if it if it did, that's a, a money maker. Right. You know, you could sell the stupid glasses with everything. Yeah. Uh, a make, nice little package. Make, make it cost more. Make I think more it was, money. I don't think Avatar yes, Travis, was yes. done in, uh, in the traditional blue-red 3D, though. I think they would I have to sell. I don't think anything has been... Well, sure. Like, I bought uh, Coraline in 3D, and that was blue-red. Blue-red is like yeah. old school. You yeah. have to do, like, polarization... I think they would um, have to sell completely different flicker. glasses. It's like kind of a... So you're seeing two separate images flickering through polarized lenses that, that 
uh, each eye is actually getting a different image. So this doesn't make sense economically now that uh, Travis explained it a little bit because those glasses probably are easy to make. You can put in the DVD and blah, blah, blah. But with this new technology, it's probably just not cost effective. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense. I'm telling you, the people that have seen Avatar and then you see a little quick scene on uh, regular TV, it, it almost looks ridiculous mm -hmm. when you compare the two. It look like you said, Ann. It looks cartoony and just not yeah, a little cartoony. not realistic if that makes sense. But uh, no 3D for the Avatar DVD. And this see uh, the sequel. They're already talking about that. It's in the early stages. But the problem with that is, didn't this movie take ten years to make? Really? Something like ten years to from, make from inception to actually make. No, I'm but sure I think they... a lot of the time was him saying he, James Cameron saying he had to wait for the technology to catch up to his ideas. Yeah, what right. What a pompous motherfucker that is! Look, I got these great ideas, but technology's just not there. So I'll wait for I you to catch up to too. my brilliance. I can say that too. I want to uh, take a ship to Saturn. Yeah. All right, Anthony, when are you going to do that? <laughs> i got to wait for you, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm all ready to go. Let's just do it with our radio show. Yeah. We got ideas. Yeah, we got Let ideas. Me tell you about the, we can not tell you about the ideas. Now I'm just going to have ideas. We have to wait. The technology isn't there for. Right. Yeah, transport uh, people cross country in a matter of seconds to Los Angeles. Fuck flying on a plane. Really? Oh, can we do that? Um, I'm waiting. Got to wait for the technology wait for to technology, catch up. technology, and then I'm all in, Opie. You know what? A pompous ass. He is a pompous ass. It's a ten, ten years, years in the old? making. Jesus. He so, sat on his ass for fucking eight years. Something like that. Waiting. But you would think, I mean, they're they're making a lot of these movies one after, I mean, at the same time, and then putting them out. They did yeah. it with the Harry Potter. They did it with the Matrix, obviously. Why not with the Avatar? Why not already have something in the fucking can, ready to go in a year? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the maybe the technology is better now, and it'll take him two years to make or, instead of ten. Yeah, I think I think the, sure. the ten year thing was him waiting for the technology to be there. But I mean, but it's hot now. Yeah, CGI technology has been around for uh, a while. I don't think he really had to wait uh, that long. Is sure. is it is it that much of a departure without the three D? Is it that much of a departure? Um, CGI wise, than movies that are really well done in CGI. You know what movie was uh, great in C CGI, and it was a uh, uh, thirty million. I think Kramer versus Kramer. Yes, it was amazing. <laughs> that little they fucking put in that little kid. His yes. tussleable hair was. He was actually bald. When Billy got hurt, and the, the way they CGI'd the blood in, and Dustin Hoffman running. Dustin Hoffman. Imagine they just spend hundreds of millions of dollars for one lousy scene. <laughs> But it was just stupid, like Dustin Hoffman's running, and instead of in New York Street, they put him on lily pads for no reason. <laughs> right, just fucked up. Man. That would stink. He's in a shit stream, jumping on lily pads. Like, what is he doing? Uh, fucking up everything. District 9 had some really good CGI in it. Really fucking good CGI. And I think that's because they used, like, didn't they use Peter Jackson's studios and shit? Because he, he's, he's he really good it. with that fucking CGI shit. I think they used like some of his. Yeah, his yeah. Stuff. District Nine was a, a Peter Jackson film. Yeah, Peter was it? Jackson. Well, he didn't direct, but he, but produced. he produced it. But I'm sure you know he's like, hey, you come into his oh. wet. What is it, Weta? Weta Studios for his CGI and all that the happy horse shit. But it looked great. It looked really good. The ship hovering over the city looked really yeah, good. Looked they good. had that and misty thing in there. I didn't think that the aliens looked too cheesy. Like They really did no, not look bad at all. Bug look at, I love how they called them prawns, yeah. and it was a derogatory yeah. term because they looked like shrimp. <laughs> no, no, here's a prawn. We'll, we'll talk to this prawn. <laughs> it fucking, it's fucking awesome. a funny movie. You know what? Yesterday, uh, we've been talking about, uh, about movies a lot, so I wanted to go see a movie yesterday, either in a theater or on demand. Ooh. And all these movies, like I haven't seen District 9, I haven't seen Precious, I haven't seen uh, a lot of people talking about, what was it yesterday, uh, uh, Serious Man. I can't, I can't find any of these movies to watch. Just no. like I was saying yesterday. <laughs> Put yeah. it on the band and make me pay $20, whatever, 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 whatever you need. High roller. Oh, I fucking want to see these movies now. Yeah. Where are they to be uh, seen? Yeah, there should be. And never... I don't really, I don't want to buy DVDs anymore. Mm. You know something? There should never be a lapse in between when something's in the theater and when it's available to you. Right. I, I still, I don't understand that that waiting period thing that goes on in this day and age. It used to be, I mean, I, I remember uh, walking out of um, uh, uh, Planet of the Apes as a young child. Um, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, 
I, I he does a show for himself. It's yeah. so cute. I, I, I and yet, when he said that, adorable. I was like, "Where's the bell?" I know exactly. It's adorable. And I thought to myself, "Yeah, it's not Steve See? He just does it really right. Just, it's Steve Rabajor. I don't know why he just wrote to Sir with love. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I walked out and thought, thought, wow. Uh, when is the next time I'm ever going to see that? Like you're a kid, so you, you don't see movies multiple times. You got enough money, you right. grub money for you from your parents and see shit like that. Right. And it was like, wow, that's really cool. I want to see that again. And you had to wait like five years for it to make it to like Channel Five or oh, something oh, yeah. and, uh, here in New York, where yeah. where you would then get to see it uh, edited it, for television. It seemed like yesterday that you had to wait a year even. Yeah, yeah. Didn't it seem like? But now they're finally. But there the, shouldn't be any but, lapse. But they still have that dumb lapse, is what there, you're getting There at. should be, you know, if the, I understand maybe they want people to go to the theater so that they could get that, um, get the count up, uh, the, you know, get, get set records, whatever the fuck they want to do. Right. But to have a, a gap between the movie being pulled from the theater right. and then you having it available in some way, shape, or form, aside from illegally, right. is ridiculous yeah, now. Of course it is. I have an answer for you, too. Yes, James. Probably promotion time. What? They want time to promote the DVDs and get a, a promotional thing in because you can't promote it while it's in the theater. That's stupid. You're pr competing with yourself. So you take it off. You get people to build a little appetite for it, and then you promote it, and you make it a big event when it comes out, and then all of a sudden it's released like it was in the theater. But we don't care about the big event anymore. We just want to see these fucking movies. Am I? And, and with this Oscar mm. talk, I mean, the nominations mm. were announced uh, yesterday, so now people are like, well, wait a minute, there's a few movies on that list I haven't seen, and I guess I should see them now. So it's 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 top of mind right now. The Unless the they're re-released. I was ready to spend money on some of these movies that I didn't feel like seeing when they first came out. You can see them all in the theaters, and I think that's why there's Ten nominations for first I, for best picture. I looked at the theaters in our area, Jimmy. Uh -huh. not, not one of these movies I want to see, like District Nine. I didn't even see a, a showing of Precious, believe it or not. And we live in Manhattan. Uh, Serious Man, I didn't see. Those are three I definitely want to see. I want to see Moon because uh, uh, yeah, it's worth seeing. I I, I thought it was going to be better than it was, but I almost had to watch uh, what the fuck was it? What Food Inc. What <laughs> about how our food is fucking not good? Wow. A documentary. Yeah. I almost went with that. I like a good documentary every so often. Uh, let me say hi to Christian, because he's uh, not agreeing with something Christian. I had to say there. Uh, Christian. Did I win? Did I win the $500? No, you did not. I'm just kidding. What's up, hey, Christian? Opie, yeah. Listen, uh, to say that the, the Avatar does not have a chance to win Best Actor Awards, I mean, I, I don't know if they'll win or not, but listen, they, they did a good job. As, at least as Zoe Chick, I don't know what her name was in the movie, but... Uh, you know, the, the, they had to learn a whole other language for the Avatar land place. Uh, I go and, back to uh, Klingonese. Okay. I go back to the Klingon language of um, uh, Star Trek movies. They had to learn a new language, too. Right. <laughs> okay. Geek. You ready for this? I said that uh, there's no way, uh, you know, they're going to win Best Actor or Actress or Supporting Actor or a Actress uh, this Avatar, right? There's mm -hmm. no way. And know why there's no way? Because now I'm looking at the list. They're not even up for nomination. No, they're they're in there for best picture. No, yeah, but not no, best actor. Best, that's oh, what I'm saying. Actor. They're gonna win everything except for the uh, the, the awards for best actor and best actress. You think they're gonna win best picture? No. When was the last time a sci-fi movie won best picture? By the way, it's, and I know this one stands out. It's not just a sci-fi though, Ant. You know, that's the problem. But, but it it's, is. In the end, it, but it is a sci-fi. It might have a good story. It might be pleasant. It might be this. It might be you know. But it's a fucking science fiction movie. All right, what uh, film wins then? Um. I think a little film called The Hurt Locker. Yeah, or Crazy really? Heart. I, or, or Crazy Heart, yeah, yeah. They, they're not... you got to understand these Academy people are fucking snobby assholes. They don't like looking at a blockbuster movie and giving it an Oscar. Blockbusters, oh like, right, they, they just don't like having to hand a giant blockbuster movie so, an Oscar. So... They'd rather well, have a, a be, smaller movie. But Avatar's got to be represented. They're gonna they're gonna give it a bunch of awards, yeah, but not get, best picture. You know they'll you're get, thinking they'll get fucking you know like what, what what Spielberg movies used to get, best fucking special effects in a motion picture, yeah. which it's got to deal with uh, uh, Star Trek also. Um, I understand the whole thing, you know CGI and fucking three D, nah, yeah. but Star Trek's effects. And I I, li I, I like to tell you, I've seen both. Yeah, and the Star Trek, you're absolutely right. Yeah, the special effects were awesome. But oh, man, when you put it up against a 3D movie, I'm telling you. Yeah, but 3D the, again, I'm another thing. You. The, the Academy 
of motion pictures, arts, and sciences, Opie, does not look at 3D and go, this is what I'm basing my vote on. We'll see. They look at fucking it, story this and is never... direction. They look at, like, overall best picture. Ha can't just be like, wow, things are, are you know popping out at me. Give it the Oscar. It'll no. get cinematography. It'll get, like, yeah, all the special effects. Like that. Best picture, no way. I don't think it will. I think it. I think it. I think it's a definite. Because the views of I it, really do. getting it over precious, uh, you know, which is a better. I thought. Like, I haven't seen it, so I can't say. It, I wait, call so it Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> It'll win all the special yeah. effects awards. All right, just so. ten for best mm. picture. Are we in agreement ten. that Avatar is on the short list? It should be in there because it's just Short such list. a big movie. It would be silly to snub the blind it side. by not having it in there. Sandra Bullock. It's like, wasn't Star Wars up for fucking Best Picture? Back mm -hmm. in, uh, yeah, it was. So, I mean, and... And e that was State of the Art for the time, right, Ant? Uh, let's see. Only two purebred sci-fi films, George Lucas' uh, 1977 Star Wars and Steven Spielberg's 82 E.T. have made Oscar Best Picture list. Neither one. Okay. Neither one of them won. Um... So, eh, and for the time, especially something like E.T., you look at E.T., for the time, that was very story-driven, you know, it wasn't so much about spaceships and shit like that. Yeah, you might be making a good point. Uh, I, I, don't, might be I just a don't good think point. the yeah. Academy right. likes that shit. Let's do, uh, <laughs> let's do our short list, because there's ten films. Avatar, you gotta put on there, because it's just too yeah, much attention. Yeah, it's too big to not put Made, on there. Made, what, yeah. over two billion dollars? I mean, you at least gotta acknowledge it as a, uh, on the short list. Play. We got uh, Joe Biden. Let's do the Joe Biden first, Dan. Yeah, what did he try to do? D explain Avatar? Yes. Now, this is the vice president of the United States, the proverbial heartbeat away from the presidency. Yeah. Um, and I assume, I haven't heard this clip, I assume he does not do a satisfactory job of uh, describing no. Avatar. And Avatar is, you could explain it pretty easily. It's not that complicated of a movie. It's certainly right. not a, like a lost thing like we started the show yeah, with yeah. where you're completely confused and trying to explain it. Mm -hmm. It's Avatar. The story's been told a million times. A lot of people say it's... It's what dancing with uh, dances with wolves or Pocahontas, Pocahontas. or um, Road Warrior. Road no, Warrior. Um, <laughs> is it a little Road Warrior? I don't even know. Uh, how about uh, oh 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 uh, uh, Starship Troopers? Is there some Star Starship Troopers in there? Uh, I heard Ronnie talking about that movie the other day, and I was like, oh, that was kind of a fun movie. The first one. All the rest were direct to video, but you ever first see one Starship was all right. Troopers? Yeah, I did, and, and, it, and I liked it. Like the only thing that was not. <laughs> not believable with that there were giant bugs on a planet uh what, what was less believable than that was that men and women could shower together and not fucking like talk about <laughs> pussy and cock and ass and fucking tits and, and they're just showering together they're soldiers and they're like you know you're doing the old towel snaps and goofing on the chicks and his tits and fucking yes. and like i be i sooner believe that giant bugs are invading uh, uh, our planet, <laughs> then men and women can shower, shower together, together like that without a hint of sexuality coming through. Could you imagine if that was the rule in high school after gym class? Oh, oh my God, God, don't even. Oh, my God. Because I was, I was the guy, I, would, I wouldn't shower after gym class. No fucking way. What am I going to do? Hop in there, a lot of ball bags and cock. Nice. Yeah, yeah I always thought it was weird that you shower with fucking other guys and yeah. you play the sport. At such a young age, tender age. But I didn't no, understand be... that. And it was all like showers in the open. I'm like, this doesn't seem fucking normal. It's like I'm Every other to... animal washes themselves together. That's, I'm going to math. I'm not going to a fucking business meeting. Who gives a shit? Yeah, regular... And I didn't do anything in gym class anyway. Regular gym class, they wanted you to fucking shower afterwards. Yeah. With all, the, uh, all the guys, like, what? How but... about individual stalls, at least? Yeah, it was a, yeah, a, a wide privacy. open room with the fucking shower what, am I a thing? marine? The fuck is this? No, I was always embarrassed because I was a late. Uh, oh, uh, I was a late developer oh, in that fuck. department. Well, I didn't want to embarrass so I... anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me. Oh, so I kind of got dressed in the corner. Oh. Yeah, yeah, with a lot of shame. Oh, <laughs> like little, when... <laughs> your little hairless pinky, <laughs> right? What am I gonna... jetting straight out? When am I going to sprout some hair? <laughs> it's so pink. It looks like somebody spilled scalding water on it. <laughs> Yes, the gym teacher wants to rub some salve on it. Yes, <laughs> Opie's cock looked like Ricky Tiki Tave's tail. <laughs> Ricky Tiki. <laughs> Fuck. Here's Joe Biden describing uh, right. Avatar. Do you and Mrs. Biden ever get to the movies? Academy Award picks? Any yeah, favorites and, and, among and, the Oscar nominees? As a matter of fact, we do. Uh, um, and uh, um, 
I, I think the uh, one of the odds on favorites, Jill didn't go with me, but is um, is uh, this uh, this 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 new oh my program. God. Oh my this holy shit, the bob you know, the missiles are flying over the North Pole at us. What do you do? You press the um the uh get the launch um what do they call them? The uh the number of things that are uh bit Dude Fuck Obama, uh, 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 Obama felt like he needed an old white guy. And a guy with foreign policy experience. And true, true, true. And Biden's true, older. True, so people true. said Obama was too inexperienced because he kind of, per- like, well, he's not inexperienced. Biden's been around for a while. I wonder I, if I, this is part of. Uh, I backed it up. Let's listen again. Part of, I wonder, though, if this is part of his, uh, his, you know, uh, medical, his, medical what, his, uh, yeah. his, he did uh, have an aneurysm like years ago or something, a brain aneurysm. Yeah, he's got some, something years ago. That's great. So it turned him into a fucking porky pig. I saw the, um, like, um, like, um, I just, like, um, I was, like, um, I was, like, um, like, like um, I was on like um um like um I was on just on like um like um I was like um I was like um I was like um like um like um so like you use your tongue prettier than a twenty dollar whore. Okay, fuck it. What's next? <laughs> Uh, I I think the uh, one of the odds on favorites. Jill didn't go with me, but is um, is uh, this uh, this 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 new program that I looked at it, and wish I was seeing it in 3D. And you sit there and you watch this science fiction thing unfold in front of you. I think Avatar. Avatar. The 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 magic of it is is kind of overwhelming. So is the name. Uh, and there are others. There are some other real good ones out there, but I predict Avatar will win. All right. We'll hold to that why and they have to act like it's normal uh, uh, like, why totally can't you say avatar know the name. and it's not a program he it's forgot the name of a program uh, 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 uh. i want a I want a vice president who doesn't know the name of that fucking movie without looking for it you know what good i don't want a vice president that just knows avatar and what it was about i want a guy that's really? like oh, what the fuck was yeah, that why doesn't he go like uh, that movie what the hell was the name of that but movie it's not that he, he doesn't know the name of the movie because he's busy jimmy he doesn't know because no. he's a, a fucking... He's the vice president. He's not busy. What's he doing? Well, he goes to funerals. Doing? And, and none of the leaders well, have died lately. So he's had a lot of free time. <laughs> the president's <laughs> hole. <laughs> what do you think of this Avatar movie? Uh, you know, I, it's a hell of a movie. Yeah, I think so it's too. It's a hell of a movie. I don't think it's going to win Best Picture. Yeah, we Oscars. were sa- we were saying that too. It's, it's like it doesn't fall into that genre that the... Uh, the um, Oscar judges seem to really embrace. Yeah, but well, I think, you know, I, I, I think, have a theory. I was okay. Go ahead. About yesterday, actually, that um, <laughs> you know, with Zoe Saldana not getting a best a best actress nod for uh, her role in that, it, it says to me that the biggest voting block in the Academy, which is the actors, aren't going to give that movie best picture because it, they see that as an animated film almost. Mm, you, know, you can't give an animated character and, best fucking actor or actress. Well, you know, they're looking at her as as probably, you know, and I'm painting in broad strokes here, but they're looking at her probably as like a voiceover performance where it's really so much more than that. And I think that, you know, there might be a little bit of unspoken fear about how it's going to change what a lot of actors do. Yeah. And I, so I, I think that they're going to shy away from it. I, I think the Academy just doesn't know what to do with this Avatar because they've never had a movie like this That's before. That's true, too, yeah. Because they usually don't do the you know best picture for the, the sci-fis like Ant, I believe, was saying yesterday. So this movie gets all the technical awards, but you got to give it something else besides that because it's such a phenomenon. Yeah, but, you know, the Academy's got a history of blowing it that way. Yep. You know, they didn't honor Star Wars with best picture. Uh, E.T. famously didn't get best picture. It lost to... Um, to, what was the movie? Uh, Chariots of Fire. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That slow motion running movie with yeah, the music. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I also, too, when we get back, I'm, I'm a tushk off Huh? I would love to know if he's. De- are you speaking Swiss? Why are you? Why? Why? It's oh. it's European, Jimmy. No. I'm trying to figure out which Jimmy my, this my, is. My new language. Oh, what is it? Did you see Avatar? <gasps> oh. oh! Oh, you saw Avatar? All I thought you right. I, I thought you didn't have time. Um, oh my god, I gotta find out. <laughs> after the break, yeah, I'll review it when I get back. I will say I went last night after Red Eye, I wasn't too feeling too well, so I canceled my seller spot. Gutfell was going at ten thirty, and I'm like, fuck it. I went. Oh fuck, we're gonna talk to Avatar. Right, after the now break. we don't know. Two months after everyone else talked about, but that's okay. Yeah. 
Hey, it's still making huge. Oh, you were of talking uh, Navy Pandora. Navy. And- what is it called? In I don't know. I just go. I sh- I sh- <laughs> it sounds kind of like German, but it's not. I didn't like when you thought it was Nazi Jimmy. No, I was being <laughs> I was sweet. Was Nazi Jimmy. And, I was being sweet and boy, I'd, tall. Have loved, I lo- I'd have loved you more. <laughs> I saw I'm a tard. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's hard, review Steve. of Avatar next. Uh, Jimmy, Avatar finally. Me, me. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did Red Eye last night, and uh, I talked to Gutfeld. And he's congratulating me because I had the top one and two comedy CDs on iTunes. I saw that. Oh, iTunes. Wow. iTunes. Irrelevant. Knew it. How, How many really, units is that, by I way? honestly have no idea. I, I We don't get accounts yet, but you know. A lot of people tweeting that yesterday. Very excited yeah, for I was you, very Jimmy. Happy. They said number one and two for little Jimmy Norton on I was iTunes. very That's pleased. That's awesome. But uh, so Gutfeld goes, I'm going to go see, because he's going to a lunch with James Cameron today or something. Like there's a big thing. What? It's an event. And he goes, I, I got to see Avatar. So it was 1030. And uh, I'm like, fuck it, man. It's going to be out of the theaters in another week or so. I want to see it in 3D. So we went. And Did I you mean, IMAX? No, the IMAX was earlier. My girlfriend was working. Uh, so we had to meet at, for the 1030 show. And st- plus, I wouldn't have been there by 945. I, I wonder what the difference is between IMAX and, and regular theater with 3D. I'm for, just wondering. The IMAX is probably amazing. But what the woman said was, she said the 3D in the regular is actually a little bit, pops a little bit better. Because the IMAX is a little too big. She said it's, it's actually made for regular mm-hmm. screens. Okay. But IMAX, I still wish I could have. But whatever, I wanted to see it in 3D. And uh, we got, by the way, the fucking calorie count. I love Bloomberg for this. When you in the movie theater, you look mm-hmm. at the calorie counts. You know, I used uh-huh. to love those little pretzel bits. Mm-hmm. They're delicious. Mm-hmm. 1,700 fucking <laughs> calories. What? what? What's in for the pretzel pretzels? bits? The, pre- the soft pretzel bits that they sell. Yeah, I you can dip like in dough. cheese. We all thought that. Oh, oh, you, you mean without even the cheese? I don't know. 1,700. I, it has to be. with it. Does it come with cheese? It has I to. imagine. Yeah, it does. It comes yeah, with a little cheesy thing. It has to be the cheese Holy as well. Holy mother of God. Yeah, the that's... calorie count will just make you depressed if you really are trying to keep your you weight down. You won't eat anything. No, you won't, I, you're right. You won't eat anything. We split a medium popcorn and two waters. How much is the popcorn, calorie-wise? I don't, it, wasn't, it was like a, a small with a drink, which I'm imagining is a soda, varied from 390 to 5 something. That's the small popcorn with a, a drink. So we got a medium popcorn, but with waters. And Did I you eat put most a little butter on it? No, no butter. But I feel very sick butter. today. I feel very sick uh, because I think that it's just all that salt. It, it was really bad. I should have eaten. My that tummy shit. hurts too. Like I was when I'm laughing at the hysterical program that is the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, like I, I feel it was another like program. I'm a like, cramp. Where is this funny show? Like I'm like I got my period. <laughs> I'm cramping. <laughs> Uh, in my lower intestinal region, Is there something and going I feel around? like I gotta like really blast a, a good, good airy one. Yeah, she, my, she's sick. Uh, I'm not Sam's feeling sick, well. by the way. Are you sick? Yeah, he brought the sickness to the Opie and Anthony show. No, I was sick. I'm not sick now. Oh, really? As I, was, I hear you nasally say that. I was sick over the weekend. You're still sick? No, I'm no, no longer Anthony's sick. Anthony's sick. Jimmy's sick. I'm Jimmy's sick. girl is sick. Danny's not here. He's sick. But my tummy was fine. It wasn't in my tummy. It was Sam's no. asshole that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1,700 uh, calories. I can't even yeah. get over that. Dude, I, 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 we just stood there and stared like a bunch of old ladies at, at the calorie counts on these things. So we sit in the theater, and Gutfeld is there with his wife. Me and my girl are in the row behind him, but like six seats over. And Gutfeld's a ballsy little guy. Like There was a bunch of kids that came in and started talking, and Gutfeld's fucking, he's a cranky old man immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was I was he? so happy. Oh, nice. yeah, he was shutting them up. He is a crank. Uh-uh. He was fucking That's very awesome. cranky. That's awesome. I was so happy he of did that. Of course, they weren't black youths, though. No. Yeah. But no I, one, he no might one, have a black youth. Greg's no a one weird sh- little guy. shushes black youths. It wasn't that many people in the theater. It's always little white punky uh, dudes that you know you can take. Uh, we're all the same people. Yeah. Let's be honest with each other. You pick your targets who you're brave enough to yell at. Wow. Well. But we'll get a guy. Not me. Which, <laughs> not me. I, I'll speak up. Well, good for you. The rest of us uh, human beings, we, we line up our targets and say, you know what? If I yell at this guy, I think I could take him, so I'm going to yell at him. That's how it works I'll in nature. Say, I'll say anything to anyone. Well, you got Don't fucking you got it, you got shut up in the movie theater. You got special circumstances now, though, well, sir. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. I'm just that kind of guy. Which will lead to the, which will lead to the video of the day that everyone was tweeting yesterday. But first, uh, I want more on this avatar. So, um, well, I will say you are correct mm-hmm. about the the not at all subtle 
a political message man. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, the yeah. military's bad. The yeah. white people. We very politically corrupt. Oh, well, not military God. bad. Well, military bad, yes, but American military. Even though they didn't, yeah. they didn't want to say it was the American military. Yeah, it, was American. it was pretty fucking obvious that American military really bad. Do we really know what we're we're doing with these military actions? We got to save the planet. All that shit. I could have done without. Yeah, James Cameron's... The, the thing that bothered me about the message, it was such an over-the-top, obvious message. It was like, look, man, you're, you're making this amazing visual work. Do you have to give us such a fucking 12-year-old boy's view of the millet? Ham-handed yeah, message. Really? Could you have smartened it up a little bit? But I, I'll, I like the movie a lot. I didn't think I would. The message, because you know what it is and like you're prepared, because like, look, all right, there are tall blue people in it, so it's it's Hollywood. They're fucking. They don't challenge anything. You know, they suck. So you you kind of got past that. It was so obvious to me. I was like, oh, douchebag, and just could watch the movie. And it was really a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah? I mean, a lot better. Wow. Sigourney Weaver was great. She was great, right? Yeah, she was. Yeah. Michelle Rodriguez. She was awesome. Yeah. Is very, very she's good. She's fucking nurse. hot, isn't she? Is she is sexy, yeah. She's a lesbian, what is, but... What is... I don't... She's Jersey just, City. Right. Yeah, no, I understand that, but she's like a sexy broad. Yeah, man. she is sexy, tough girl. What about the military guy? The main military he, he guy? He was great. He the was guy, amazing. Yeah, the guy who played what the... What a uh, prick. What a prick he was. Because it's tough to play that role because you're used to, you know, seeing uh, what's his name from Full Metal Jacket and, and, you know, he's playing that guy basically. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was, he made it his own. And the problem was that they were saying things that we would say about the uh, insurgents. Like, ah, they're just savages. I gotcha. All right. All right. We hear you. But. I would suggest, Aunt, you got to see it in 3D. I mean, I really... I have to. You should, man, because it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. And that dumb... Ma There's nobody in the theaters now. It's empty. Yeah. There's 30 people. It was fucking empty in the theater. It's about to go away. It is. That's why. It did, everyone has seen it. I don't think it has more than two weeks left. No, it doesn't. It actually, at the IMAX, oh, they told no. me like a week after the next is done. Yeah, oh. I think it's just about it <clears throat> over. That was why I went so late. I was done at 1.30 yeah. in the morning. Uh, yeah. You didn't and, have to uh, deal with the crowds, man. That's cool. Conceptually, it was really pretty brilliant. They're on a, a moon. I believe it was around Jupiter. And, um, Jupiter. Pandora. Pandora is the moon. And you mind, you, you kind of, you go into this chamber and they mind meld you, however, with these fucking, what are they, like nine or ten foot tall blue creatures. Yes. And the thing was... They had something in their land that we wanted, so that was kind of the corny military the oil. Angle. That's exact, of course. The oil man. It, it, it was such an obvious message. A they, war for <clears> the <throat> blue people's oil. <laughs> so James Cameron, you did both Terminators. Could you have been a little fucking smarter with the dialogue in this? Yeah. Maybe he didn't write those. Maybe he just directed the Terminators. But I thought it was great. Well, the Braveheart speech where, you know, the blue people had to get together was really lame. Yeah. Where it was like rallying the troops for the big, freedom. The big fight. Yeah, it was the freedom speech, but it, was, yeah. it fell short. But, I mean, visually, ridiculous. A masterpiece. Right, a masterpiece. And the 3D was great because, like, James Cameron explained perfectly, he wanted you to forget that you were in the 3D glasses. I thought that is a very... Very good way to explain how he used the 3D thing. Now, there might have been two arrows that came at you. The rest of it was just you were kind of in the... Yeah, it wasn't shit. Yeah, the, it, was it wasn't great. like, hello, you're wearing 3D glasses. Check this out. It was... You forgot. You it really was know. fucking great, Now, dude. Jimmy, after seeing it, what do you think about uh, its chances now for the Oscar? I think it has a really good chance. Yeah? Because visually, again, he has to win Best Director. He has to. Even if they gave the Hurt Locker or something else Best Picture, they have to they have to do the rare thing of splitting it. Yeah, they normally don't yeah. split those. Mm -hmm. Best Picture is normally uh, Best Director. But uh, he has to get Best Director. Best Picture, I think it was good enough where they could justify giving it a Best Picture. Yeah. They gave Titanic Best Picture. Um, I, I think it's going to win everything. You know, Ann kept saying that... Uh, oh, fuck. Fuck, I don't remember, though, but someone will help us out. That you said that sci-fi movies don't get Best Picture usually? Yeah. And someone sent me, uh, uh, what the fuck, it was a sci-fi movie that won Best Picture. 2000, God. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Ah, uh, shit, help me out. Kramer uh, versus Kramer? I knew I was going to use In this space. knowledge of, eventually. <laughs> yeah. But there was a sci-fi uh, movie that did win Best Buck Picture. Rogers. 
Uh, the acting we, was amazing, and it was, year. and it was all like nobodies except for Sigourney, Sigourney, Sigourney and, Weaver, and uh, Giovanni. Ribisi. Yeah, but he, yeah, he was great in it. He's actually, very good, yeah, Giovanni Ribisi's in it. Yeah, yeah. So he played retarded something. <laughs> no. Just the prick. He plays the prick, right? Yeah, he always was great. retarded in every movie. <laughs> he was great, but the uh, message was so corny. It was like. I guess it's marketed for teenagers, too. It's like, you know, you're 14 or 15. Yeah, don't take what's theirs. Uh, you know, and as, but as a 41-year-old man, I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. Could you smarten this up, you prick? No, I'm surprised you liked it, Jimmy. I really liked what it. What about the language? I didn't... It wasn't overpowering. It was it, it was believable, and it was... Uh, you know, it was just their native tongue, so it wasn't it wasn't annoying. But he came up with that whole fucking language, and well, he had a professor from USC. Yeah, and it followed the rules of language. Yes. I mean, that's that's a little too deep. I'm thinking. Yeah, that's that's another reason he might win the Oscar. I think it's going to win. Oh, Lord for of the Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings. I guess. Well, hey, that's not sci-fi. Yeah, all right, all right. That's like major fantasy kind of. Well, fucking... this is what Avatar is. I would well, I would put Avatar <laughs> kind of in that Lord of the Rings yeah. sort of. Fantasy world. Genre. Thank you. That's what. Yeah, Lord of the Rings won a Best Picture, so I think I think Avatar could easily win Best Picture. Yeah, I think it can too. I th mm. I, and I, I think mm. just because it was a weak year for movies, I think it's it, it makes it very easy just to give it to Avatar. I really All right. do. All right. Because the rest of the movies, people are like kind of spread out. There's not one m movie where there a lot of people saying this needs to win. I gotta see it. Well, in 3D, I'm kind of saying I, that. <laughs> yeah, but I don't go out. <laughs> don't you, there were floating mountains in it. There's there some really floating visually, mountains it with is waterfalls a fucking a masterpiece. The colors were ridiculous. Amazing. The greens and the blues yeah. he used were yeah. ridiculous. It was a Did you like the docking thing? Docking. What was it? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I did actually a lot. Yeah. They were docking. Yeah, there's docking. <laughs> they sound sexy. They put their tails together to kind of kind of feel what each other's feeling and kind of so they could read the the trees and read nature and <laughs> they were in, they were it was docking though man they were fucking uh, it was docking they, they had like these the tail but the tail had these like little cilia type things in it Ew. and they would lock on to other creatures that had it and they just they click and then you could kind of use the horse or whatever. It was like a, a weird horse. Yeah. To, you could tell it what to do through your mind. Wow, that's it, fucked up. It was it was actually a very uh but, and it was much better than I thought it was going to be. And the fucking... Is it a sergeant officially, the main military guy? Is he a sergeant? Don't know. Where he goes into the into that fucking walking thing, and he's controlling the big fucking... Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> kind of aliens, Ridley Scottish. It was but awesome. Yeah. There were certain things I didn't like. Again, the message about it, certain military behavior of military personnel against other military personnel I didn't like, because I think that was fucking completely... Were you for the blue people? Yeah, of course you are because yeah, James Cameron forces you to be for the blue people. Fuck yeah. the blue people. Nah, you'd be for them because they were. They I'm were nice. not going to be for the blue people. I told my girlfriend, I'm like, I hope the military wins, and she's like, Oh, shut up, you sap. <laughs> she's like, You'll cry about this as soon as you're alone. <laughs> she fucking hammered me. Is that true? Though? <laughs> she hammered you. I didn't. I didn't cry, but there was somebody blubbering in the studio. In the uh, blubbering, really weeping. Dude, your girl keeps oh. you in line. It's yeah, hilarious. It's awful. And I mean that in a yeah, nice yeah. way. It's funny because she just tells it like it is uh, to you. Yeah, oh, really? You sap. You're, oh, really? You're hoping the military wins? She knows you Titanic too Titanic well. was like fucking going to a funeral. The crying that was going on at that fucking movie when that old bag dies and, and fucking goes back... And you see the old Titanic underwater, and then it morphs into the mm -hmm. Titanic. And they've all they're all waiting for her there in the grand mm -hmm. fucking stairway. Yeah, it was too and, and then it was just like oh, everybody's crying in the movie. There's shut mm -hmm. up. And then and it's a she, ride now. And she's crying because what's his name? Like you know, let's go and yeah. Jack, Jack was a bum. I, it was a one Jack. night stand. Yes. What the fuck? How are they in love that much? They fucking they were together two days. <laughs> he fucked oh, some a long weekend. He fucked a mediocre girl who cheated on her boyfriend in the back of a car on a yes. boat. Right. <laughs> this is different. There's blue people and they have land at stake. B a blue people. Uh, someone's saying. <laughs> I wish you would call. Someone is saying uh, Rabisi was terrible. He goes, I usually love him, but all he did was steal. Yeah, he stole. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, a R uh, I, so it's got to be uh, Ari Ari from um, from Entourage. Yeah, he kind of oh, I that. didn't see he kind of had that. Yeah, he was definitely like Ari from Entourage in this Avatar. Hmm. Let's say hi. It was the general. Okay, Mike in Pittsburgh. Mike, hi. I got a little fun fact for you guys. Yeah, 
uh, the general guy that you guys are talking about from Avatar is actually the cowardly cowboy from the movie Tombstone. Really? That's not a yeah. fun fact. Yeah, that's not even that's just interesting. just a fact. If you directed both movies. Yeah. Yeah, that's just Maybe. kind of a fact. Well, you didn't figure it was his first role. All right. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Booger Couch goes, I can't wait for the Avatar sequel where we go back and rebuild everything we destroyed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it's almost like I would have preferred uh, like a 3D, a story like fucking Apocalypto. Mm-hmm. That to me would have I been. I gotta a, see a pop, uh, a pop, a Apocalypto. Apocalypto. Mel Gibson. A pop, a pop, a pop, a pop, a pop. I thought Apocalypto was amazing. That was pretty good. Yeah. I loved it. That's a movie I got. Sick shit in that. Imagine that Talk in 3D. About savages. Holy shit. That would have been a 3D movie. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, Anthony would one. be the only person to see Avatar that is for the military completely. Oh, I no, will, he wouldn't I, I be. Will be. You, you, you think he's gonna be for blue people? Yeah, you have to be. He's not into people that. Of color. Thank you. I was trying to figure out. To say that color. <laughs> you know, people of color. I uh, thought it was also a slam against the uh, for the American Indians. I thought that was a part of it too. Yeah, it was all about indigenous the, people. Indigenous and, people. Yeah, that are just living taking, their lives and yeah. enjoying their uh, relationship with nature. Yeah. We have to come in and ruin it. Yes, as they fucking beat their women in the middle of the streets with sticks. Yeah. and threaten <laughs> Israel with <laughs> nuclear <laughs> holocaust. Yeah, let's go to Jr. <laughs> in Alabama. James Cameron. Alabama. What's up, boys? <laughs> what up? Hey. Hello, little Yemi. Congratulations. Uh, uh. On what? Oh, uh, did you all not know <laughs> that, tunes. Oh, that was a rip-off of the Westerns? Yeah, there's yeah, a lot I mean, of... I know the people were blue. They had long braids or hair. They shot bow and arrows. They rode horses. They put on war paint. Yeah. Well, the best thing was when someone pointed out that it's uh, Pocahontas. Yeah. The story of Pocahontas. Yeah. So, yeah, it had a lot of that shit going. And a lot of the dialogue the was story's like... The not... Bleak. The story wasn't new. No, was... obviously the story's been done a million times, but not Dance of, with dances with wolves. Dances in space. with wolves, sure, with Smurf we'll people. That. But the, again, the visual element and the different things about these creatures that made them believable and unique. I thought it was fucking. It wasn't as cheesy as I'm making it sound. Yeah. They really were a great Dude, the creation. First, they didn't look too cartoony. No, nah, they were really no, good with the three D glasses. That's with the three D glasses, they were great. Though. When you see it on regular TV, it looks cartoony. Absolutely, the first scene where he's. Rolling around in his wheelchair at the space station or whatever. The, the that, oh yeah, that was like wow. And there was nothing going on there. Nothing really, going but, on at all. But, but it, the fucking creatures he has to fight. Yeah. In the uh, in the woods, it was really good. Hmm. I'm surprised you liked it. Too. I really liked it because again, it it almost has to win because he just changed cinema. He changed it. It's now, like, do you understand what I'm saying now? It's yeah. tough to see a movie that's not in 3D. I mean, a regular movie, you could still do it. But anything with action, you're like, fuck this. It's got to be in 3D. They're promoting yeah. a, Dreams, a DreamWorks movie now called Tame Your Dragon. It's like a kid's movie or something, Your Dragon, but uh, for IMAX next. So you watch how many 3D movies. And within 10 years, all the TVs will be 3D. Flat screens are transient, man. They're going to fucking be 3D. Flying soon. cars? Flying cars. Only with 3D glasses? The flying car. And the 3D glasses were amazing. They really felt comfortable. Yeah, yeah it was like just wearing sunglasses, which I do yeah. all the time anyway, being of course. Jimmy Cool Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Cool Jimmy. <laughs> but yeah, I really <laughs> liked it, man. Nice. Very good. I wouldn't... He has to win Best Director. I wouldn't kill myself if it didn't win Best Picture, because I still like the Hurt Locker. I love the Hurt Locker, actually. Uh, yeah. But th For this one, picture, I, though, I could see this one winning Best Picture. I could see this one winning... It's because it's just it's an I epic event. It, I don't see how it doesn't win Best Picture. Yeah, I haven't seen all the movies. I'm getting close though. I, I need to see Precious, and uh, I think oh, that's just about I'll it. I'll give it I to think. you. I don't know if I want to see it. Oh, I, you should I should, see it, dude. I should for the show. Monique is a fucking dude. She that's why I went. She's, you she's an Oscar the, winner. You got to see it in the theater in three N though. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Jesus. <laughs> No, it's 300 D because she's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Ambientar? That movie? You hated it? You finally saw it? Not the whole thing. Really? What happened? I tried twice so far. One time I was a little sleepy. Right. Um, but uh, I gave it a whirl. What took and, you out uh, of Avatar? fell asleep. Second time, I'm watching, watching, watching. And Jimmy, you, know you see Avatar? I did. I, I saw it in 3D. Okay. I just said, I, I, I went, click. I'm finding something else to fucking watch. What was this your problem is, with Avatar? My problem was completely fucking predictable as to what was going to happen before it happened. And I didn't even see the ending. But I know exactly what fucking happens. Mm. And not because anyone ruined it for me. 
I'm just watching this going, all right, the initial principle of it was kind of cool. I'm watching, all right, these things are big. They, hey, it's an avatar. It's this guy, and he's, he's working it, you know, and shit like that. But a, as he's getting involved with the the indigenous Nabu people. The blue people. The blue people. The Smurfs. It just started right. getting more and more obvious where this was going, and the characters got more and more cliche, and I've seen it before. The evil army guys, the corporate guy, the fucking gentle, fucking loving nature people, and this guy obviously is not going to stand for, you know, the, these people being shoved out and killed and fuck for some mining stuff. Right. And and that's that's where it was going. And I completely lost interest. There was so much of this guy. We get it. The place is beautiful. It's very <laughs> lit up with jellyfishy things that fucking roam around. And they're all peaceful and gentle. And we suck. We're humans and we just suck a dick. And we're bad, evil things. I saw where it was going. I was like, I'm not impressed. Well, we are bad, evil things. Look what's happening with the oil spill. I know. We, we really know. do suck. Like an oil. Most I of us say. don't want to acknowledge that humans suck, but I mean, eh. What could you eh. say? We're not giant blue eh. people. Sorry. We're pretty much doing what they did in Avatar, just destroying everything. We're not <laughs> all fucking blue people. You know, with that said... I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an open mind because uh, Avatar is now on demand. Ed. Yes, and I did see it with the 3D experience, and I I have not had the desire, and I really liked Avatar in the movie theater with the 3D experience. Right. I have not had the desire to watch it at home on demand, and that's a the Isn't type that of movie telling you something. That's though? the type of movie I would probably would like to see uh, a second time, but I'm starting to think, man, you take the 3D angle out of that movie is it still a good movie that that right because there you, tells you, you something you did not see the 3d version nope. because you were blown away with with this world he created yeah. the 3d-ness and like you said the jellyfish things and the colors and yeah. and, and and all that I, I don't know maybe it's not as good without the 3d effects <sighs> you know what now i'm gonna have to see it on demand i bet it's not i bet you're right it's not as good a movie. It's, it's just not. When I heard I they were putting it out and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to be 3D or whatever, I was, I was like, uh, I don't know, man. Because the, to me, the army angle and the political message was so childishly oh, simple. God, was it? It, it was. Hop. It's again in the context of a 3D movie, you don't really care that much. But just as a movie with the story, I think the story is a little more important without the 3D. It's still good, but that to me is even more annoying without the 3D. You can't like lose yourself in the 3D. It's like, ugh. yeah, I yeah. I couldn't believe all the reviews. Like uh, when you trolling through Rotten Tomatoes, like it had like something ridiculous, like 98 percent. But most of the reviews, like the majority of them, said, "Oh, well, there's nothing new in James Cameron's Avatar, but boy, is it pretty." And I'm like, "Oh, how does that constitute a good review? Yeah, what is that? Like just because it looks nice doesn't make it a great movie." Exactly. Exactly, and you get so distracted from the actual storyline because of the 3D well, that you're like... Let me ask you this. Was Jurassic Park a good story, or were we just blown away because that was that was a, a, a new type of movie using new technology? Uh, but you know what? I'm, I'm just was, asking. I'm not think. better than this, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It, it wasn't... Mm. Does that movie hold up now that they, they're making uh, movies that look even better yeah, than Jurassic Park? Yeah, I've seen Park? it enough times. Some of the big dinosaurs at the beginning look a little like, well, they didn't really blend in with the, right. the ambient right, color right. and stuff like that. Uh, but they were, you know, still working on it. But Jurassic Park but the, was cool. The but T-Rex no, was great. It still looks great. Well, Avatar was cool. I well, mean, yeah, don't get when it you see it in a 3D theater, the, the, the look of it was amazing. But I don't think anybody's going to make the argument like that, that Jurassic Park was like one of the best movies of all time. And I think that... Oh, you know, I made that argument. No, <laughs> I, didn't say, that argument, I didn't say that at no, all. No, I'm not, but I'm saying I that, not that's say what's... That at all. I, I'm not, I didn't say you did, but people are saying that saying, about Avatar. I'm, I'm just saying, does it hold up now that, you know, people are making... Movies that look better. I'll tell you why it was it was at least better is because the the, the storyline was kind of plausible. Like the DNA, yeah, 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 even if it's, even though cool. like yeah. a scientist will tell you that couldn't happen, you can watch that now and go, yeah, it's still kind of right. it's kind of a cool idea. And like I don't look at that now a few years later and go, Ugh. to make a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> the little film he had at the beginning. So you hated Avatar. I. Hated it. Oh, you did? Okay. I, I didn't finish watching it is how much Were I Were you into it. it at first? I turned it off to watch Brian Regan do the act I've seen already. That's what I turned it off for. 
Oh, that's good. I Ava- didn't want to see. That's I, great I was, advertising for for Brian yes. Regan. I was just like, avatar for avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, you know something? I'm watching Regan. Yeah. Fuck this. I think in 3D you would have enjoyed it more because I. Uh, Were you bothered by the love story? You're not a love story guy, are you? No, you know something? <laughs> I could be a mushy ass with a, a good, you know, love story that fits into an actual movie. Yeah. Here's here's the thing. Call call me a faggot. Call me a faggot, if you will, but I liked the movie Titanic. I thought there was a lot of faggot, faggot, I faggot, liked it too, faggot, but you're still a faggot. A faggot, faggot. I thought the love story fit in there very well. It was very kind of... Yeah, but, um, uh, not, but it also That's not was, an outrageous statement. Titanic was, was an amazing movie. Know, because it was also the effects of a ship sinking that like, you actually got to see what it probably looked like to watch that right. ship fucking sink. Right. So that took... That took it where it wasn't just some love story, but the love. But story that's what Avatar that. did, like, as well. The, there was a balance between Rose action and the love story. Yeah, but anytime Stupid Rose and Jack were together, it wasn't like I was going like, "Oh boy, here we go." You know, there's always some kind of conflict or something going on. With this, it's like, "All right, we get it." He likes the fucking. But he blue invented chick that and, language for Avatar, and they all had to learn the language. Oh, the language! Just stop it. They had to learn the language, Anthony. <laughs> To make it more realistic. I wasn't into Avatar. I can't see myself ever finishing watching it. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, James Cameron. Fix the oil leak, if you can, because uh, I, I didn't because, like this movie. Because your movie only a, made, what, $2 billion yeah, worldwide? Yeah, billion. Dollars. <laughs> Whatever it was. What am I? What am I? One guy who didn't like it. Uh, let me go to Chris on Long Island. Chris. Good morning, OP Jiminy. Hey, faggot. Hey, hi, buddy. <laughs> faggot is <just> there. <laughs> what the? Come on. Uh, Anthony, I've been to your theater, and as impressive as your theater is, unless you get an IMAX 3D, you can't appreciate that movie. It is a mediocre movie at best. But without the 3D IMAX... Yeah, but that's telling you something. Movie. It's a oh, gimmick. I I it's a fucking the gimmick, thing. then. Right. I saw the movie in the theater with my kids and not at 3D. It was, you know, visually fantastic. So you're Walked telling me... Watch it on Blu-ray at home, and I'm like, this movie sucks. I knew that all along, though. So you're telling me that I I could watch something like fucking, you know, Saw 8, but if it's in 3D, it's going to be a great, amazing movie? Mm. No, it's going to be visually... Uh, it's gonna have a great impact. Hey, you were just movies. you were just blown away by the three D in this movie. Well, that to me tells so me maybe the that movie does sucked. maybe that does take you out yeah. of the the story. Eighty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. When 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 you take the three D away, is it still a good movie? That's a very good question. And, and me, Chris is saying it's it. not. No, it's, it's not. It's a mediocre movie. It's a mediocre movie at best. When you watch it on a flat panel or you know that nice deal you got there, it's uh, it's it's just a mediocre movie. But again, visually. In the IMAX, you know, open the open. I don't know about you, but I was taken out of the fact that I was even watching it in 3D. Yeah, they they figured out the 3D technology where you were. It was awesome. You forgot that. Yeah. You forgot you were wearing the glasses. I think that's how people explain Avatar. Because yeah. usually when you go to a 3D movie, you you realize you got those dopey glasses on the entire movie. Yeah. But you're just uh, you just forget you have them on, and mm. you're just into what you're looking at. Yeah. Now, right. Avatar is 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, right? 83. Now listen to some of some of the good reviews. Like these are reviews that Rotten Tomatoes is I know counting. exactly what you're going to yeah, read. It's, it's yeah. obvious. It's just ridiculous. It's, it's like It's all about what it looks like. It, it's all it yeah, is. It's, that's obvious. It's all it is. Every ounce of James Cameron's energy in this fancy epic is making the audience's eyes pop out. Right. That's counted as a good review. Oh, great. I loved your little fucking floaty things. But see... I loved how everything lit up when you fucking walked on it. Visually, and you're one with the fucking planet. But... Visually, you, visually, we have nothing to compare this movie to. That's why this movie did so well. There's nothing that comes close to what James well, Cameron did visually in Avatar. And there was nothing that really came close to Star Wars either. That's why I'm asking that. And then yeah. afterwards, it did very, you know, other movies that did that right. and, and, and capitalized on that look did very well, got better stories perhaps to them. Things like, you know, uh, Alien. I'm I think not, it was a great movie. And I'm not defending James Cameron. I'm, th- I'm thinking you might have a point today is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. That yeah. it probably isn't that great of a movie when you do take the 3D away. In five years, it'll probably be remembered as a, as a as movie. As the that first did, one that did like, it. Like, kind of right. like, uh, like you know, on a train track, that little switch they pull where it just kind of changes to the next track. Right. That's kind of what this movie yeah. is. Like, it's I type- thought it was an interest. Visually, it was great. And it's normally the story to me is more important. But this is one of those weird cases where it just kind of takes visual to the next level. Yeah. 
Because the stories can always be written. And I think James Cameron knew all he needed was a simple story because he knew what he was creating yeah. was visually so unbelievable that the story was was second to that. But I think the Pandora thing had some kind of tie-in with the American Indians or something <laughs> because yeah. there was there was something there. <laughs> it's like we got oh, it, James. <laughs> we got it. Uh, let's let's go to Tom yeah. in Boston. Tom. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, hey. pretty good. Uh, good. Uh, two things. Uh, first, I just didn't know if, if uh, Anthony picked up on uh, how James Cameron bashed the United States Marine Corps through the entire film. Uh, uh, yeah, the, well, you, yeah, you see that. Well, they got to be the bad guys, you know. Right, but, uh, you know, James Cameron, uh, it, it was okay when he made True Lies that he had participation with uh, the Pentagon uh, to have those Harriers uh, come down to Key West. Uh, you know, it was okay to use the actual Marines in that movie then, and then he turns around and bashes them. And well, makes he them need, the he, I understand even the fact that he needed to do that, you know, to make them the bad guys, which is fine. I, I don't give a shit where he was going politically with this thing. It, it made it blatantly obvious because of where he was going politically. But um, it just, the story itself was just, what the fuck? Yeah. All right, I, I had it, like, within... Within the first half hour, did you like the Marine you character? Pretty much knew he was great. Yeah, that guy was pretty cool. He but was he was like great, very, man. he was very, you know, all right, we get it. Yeah, 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 yeah I understand. Yeah, we we get it. All right. Well, you finally saw Avatar, kind of. <laughs> I finally kind of saw Avatar, kind of. Yes, kind of. 